I always bring certain things into nature whenever I go out. Uh, and some of these things I make at home. And I like to share a few of those with you and their purposes. Well, I took a Wheat Thins box cover. I cut it into a rectangle. I've got these fancy paper holders up here. You could also use a rubber band because I always have a nature journal with me. And I in, in my nature journal, I also have a means on the back cover of measuring things. I've got it in centimeter and I've got it in inches. So I've got a measuring tool, a recording tool, and some reminders of things that will make this the best journey into nature that I can. So I have some other tools that I bring into nature with me. I have this little thing that I've made. Again, out of a white piece of cardboard. It's three inches by three and a half inches. Leave a little piece that you can fold over for a handle off to the side. Fold it in half. Cut a one inch square out of it. Color it with a black crayon or a marker or something to make a nice frame that doesn't distract your eye. And you've got this little window that you can put something in so you can really focus on just that. And the other thing I bring, I bring some string. I'm looking around here and again I just see so much it's really hard to tell a lot of things. So what I can do though is I took a piece of string and I stretched it out the length of my arm and I cut it and I tied it together. Now I've got a loop and I can come down here and I can just kind of toss it down. And I put a couple other pieces of string across to divide it into four smaller areas. First thing I notice is this little fir tree here, seedling. It's probably, it's probably its second year and it's about an inch and a half tall. And in front of that is some sort of a shrub. I don't know what it is, but I know something's been going on in its leaves. But I see, let's see, is this all the same shrub? Okay, that's the same shrub. And then I see a grass right here. Just that little corner. And I see this ant carrying something. It's kind of soft and milky colored. Walking across an ant with a mission. And he's kind of walked in and out. And I have another one of these big bunch grasses. I have two more of these Douglas firs. Another two more cones, a grass, another one of those shrubs with something going on with the leaves and this big bunch grass right here. So those are some tools you can make at home that the next time you go out into nature and find an interesting place to stop and collect information on what different types of organisms and of different types of living things. These are things that you can do to help you focus on the little wonderful parts of nature.